Greetings and salutations to you, ladies and gents. Kluger welcomes you back to another episode of Grim Dawn Elite Mode. As always, I hope you've been having a fantastic day. I meet you in the Gruesome Harvest. As mentioned from last episode, I progressed towards the Ethereal Amalgamation, and we now indeed do not have far to go until we meet the Ethereal Amalgamation. Gruesome Harvest is where Captain Soma tells us that this thing resides. So I, I kind of went halfway there. I thought we'd do some of the approach together. It's always fun. Instead of just going and killing the thing straight off the bat together. Building the suspense and whatnot. I <laughs> uh, ran into some interesting hero battles on the way. Um, and found a wild blood girdle. Which is a legendary belt. Which is very cool. Just seeing that purple on the floor is so exciting every time you see it, man. It's like, oh my god, so purple. Oh, I'm still doing it. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. But oh my gosh, so purple. <laughs> it's just so rare to see on the ground, obviously. So it's, uh, yeah, not helpful for the build at all, but besides that, it's awesome. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you. Wild Blood Girdle here. Yeah, so physical damage, bleeding damage, defensive stuff, elemental resistances. Oh, I didn't notice the elemental resistances, to be honest with you. <coughs> That's funny. But my elemental resistance is all maxed already. Um... Gives me a lot of bleeding resistance, which is also max, but lets me boost it to 85. Um, it's cool, but not for me. Not for this build. But speaking of, I've been wanting to do a bleeding damage build. Uh, someone posted this awesome idea, and that was to um, use bloody pox from a cultist, but put the skill from... Uh, what's the devotion trying? From this, from Falcon... Falcon Swoop, which is just like AoE spam bleeding damage all over the place, and because Bloody Pox ticks, it's 15% chance on every tick to uh, trigger a Falcon Swoop. Because so can you imagine all these bleeding Falcons going, brow, 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 as well as Bloody Pox doing bleeding damage and just gearing around bleeding damage? It could be a pretty wild build. Oh, there's a freaking possessed mage, Arc Mage in here. No wonder I was copping all the elements at once. Oh boy. Cool. So yeah, we should, don't have far to go. The am amalgamation is just, just up over yonder. So that's all good. It won't be too long. It's going to be an interesting fight, I tell you. I realize my ether resistance isn't the best at the moment, nor do I have many options to crank it up at the moment. This is a bad place to be in. See, sometimes I can just go too gung-ho as well. That's often an issue. It's just I just run in there too... It's not that I even go in there too prematurely. It's that I stay there when I shouldn't. I was getting clobbered in there, and I was just like, eh, eh I'm just going to keep hitting things. <laughs> Which is not wise. I must learn these things. That being said, I haven't died in a while, and I haven't died much in Elite for a first character who's not that defensive. So I am too mad. Can we get through that without dying? Ha ha! Hacks! I feel like playing that be bleeding build now, but I've got too many on-the-go builds. I'm, re I'm doing a redux of my um, Fire Strike Commando, by the way. I have to do a redux because the other one was uh, hardcore and died. Whoops. <laughs> so, doing another one non-hardcore. I I'm realizing that for, for the most part, except if I'm doing it specifically for a video series or something like that, or a challenge or whatever have you, I'm probably not going to do hardcore. Um, I play like I'm playing hardcore, so I'm really desperate not to die. Um... But, I don't want to do it just in case of emergency. So, if, if I, I, I want to test builds and see if they can go through a whole difficulty or whatever, get through all the veteran without dying, that's part of measuring how good a build is. But, if something unfortunate were to happen, like me being stupid, and <laughs> backing myself into a corner and getting clobbered, or doing an experimental build, I don't want to be punished for that. Because, just lack of time, really. I, don't, I can't... If I get to level 40 and then die, or level 53 and die... <clears throat> nor the commando <laughs> um yeah i don't want to have to rerun basically can i can i shadow strike through that wall no i missed a little bit back there but that's all right um just because being time poor i still want to be able to carry through a build yeah if it dies it dies it's still a valid build if i if it dies because i'm stupid or i've done something inefficient the build should still not the build still has every right to be published and get out there is what i'm trying to say so yeah, hardcore's cool and it's fun and it does add a dimension to the game, but I don't have the time to be rerunning builds because I do want to use them for footages and stuff and all that goodness. 
and show you guys what I work on, because you guys seem to enjoy that, so... Gotta make sure I have characters to show you, <laughs> basically. Ah, they got Flesh Hulks in these parts now, that's fantastic, I love Flesh Hulks. They're my friends. Alright, alright, alright. They're pretty tanky, man. Them Flesh Hulks, they can be a real nuisance. Hey, Tortoise Shell, blam. Hey, you guys aren't all weird, creepy trolls yet. Great job. Oh, this. The possessed elementalists in Elite Difficulty have way better hats. They got the really cool wide brimmed ones. Maybe they just have them in general now, but they look rad. I really like them. They look real badass, all down over the eyes and stuff. Should play more mages just so I can wear those kinds of hats. <laughs> As you do. Right, I think we're there. Just about. Mm -mm -mm. I was trying not to open the gate just yet because I saw another bunch of dudes. <laughs> but, say lovey. Oh, okay, we aggroed him. That's fine. Easy kills anyways. Bunch of chumps. Alright. Great job. Any more corpses? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> hey. Give me your stuff. You don't need it no more. You damn chump. <laughs> Alright. Here comes Kluger's pro strats for beating the amalgamation. Ready? There are certain angles where you can shoot over the walls. Come on. Don't lie to me. This has always worked. Did they patch this? They probably patched it. Because <laughs> you used to be able to shoot over the walls, man. But I think they also fixed it to where this gate stays open. Yeah, there we go. See? Well, it stays open for longer anyways. It used to close, like, instantly. It was super annoying. Hey, oh, I missed the gate that time. I'm just trying to let some of the dudes out. But you know, we can probably just go, if I can get the freaking thing open again, and then go pew 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 without stepping in ether snot. Okay. Oh boy. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. <laughs> hey! Stupid gate! Alright. Panic portal. Oh, my lanta. Alright, here we go. Have I got anything to help me with this, actually? Yes, I'm gonna drink one of these. Oh, I'm stepping in the ether snot. What am I doing? So damage is hopefully not gonna be too much of a problem. Alright, don't stand in that, though, Kluger. Oh, he does one more. Yep, see that? Kluger knows his patterns. Ho oh, ho, nearly. Oh, that's not actually really hitting me. What's that? What's that attack all about? Oh, he did a summon. Classic. Oh gosh, I just face tanked all of that. Whoops. All right, let's let the potions come to be closer um, towards cooldown before we get all up in his biznack again. Now uh, he's gonna do the thing again. Keep on the move. He's actually not that hard, you know. He I, why is it, it's it's an amalgamation of beasts. Why is it a he? Just stupid habits. <laughs> it's what it is. Gender bias, man. This actually, this potion is actually helping a lot. I should use these more often. Empowered Guardsman Spalders game. That's really mean. <laughs> God, what a scrub item. Ah, is there anything in here in this difficulty level? Sure is. Wow. Just watching all that crap come out. Ew. Choose your words, Kluger. Anything up in here? No. Alright, cool. Well, Captain Soma's gonna be stoked anyway. Bail. Let's bail. Back to Homestead. Where's the thing? Tyrant's hold. Yeah, why can't I never see Homestead? Stupid. How are we going? One and a half minutes. Now we have the chance to progress through to uh, Sora's burst journey together. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So now, oh, they still want us to do the emissaries thing. But I'm not, I'm not going to be allowed to pick, am I? Am I? 
The one you call Pulgrim has asked to speak with the Order of Death's Vigil. So I have come before. Yeah, we have to pick. I have come to represent Kaiman's Chosen. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So yeah, they, they force you to choose it. But the quest is still active, so that's pretty cool. That's heaps here. Alright. Blam, 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 blam. I'm sure I want to get rid of that stuff. Don't worry. It's fine. Kluger's got this covered. I haven't actually got that much junk. Do I? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, <laughs> organization plus. Er, snap. Oh, the emissary, the vendor's not here yet. Right, you probably have to reach Sorry's Bastion first, actually. Come on, Kluger. Use your brains. Sheesh. What am I with you guys these days? Respected, huh? Nice. But I don't think you really have anything that I want, do you? Not really. Oh, crispy neck cracks. But you do have uh, ballistic plating. I already know ballistic plating. In your face, game. Do I know Oleron's blood? I do. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you want me to get a thing or something while I'm out there. Can I speak to you from down here? Nope. <laughs> Fine. Hey, chump. What do you need? I'll honor you dead, I guess. Whatever. And does someone else have a quest? Yeah, they do. Sergeant Serov. Building supplies. Clear out the lumber mill. Ah, oh, yeah. I remember all this. Cool, let's go. It's not too far to the rift gate, so... That's always good. And now, if I... Do Homestead like if I kill... No. Commands if I kill Cthonians. Awesome. Bloods won't count, don't they? I hope so. Let's see. What are we at? Because I really want to get friggin' revered with these guys. 22810. Alright. 22810. 22810. 22810. Um, now. 22814. So no, it literally has to be Cthonians. So the sworn humans are not helpful. But I mean, that's not to say there's not plenty of Cthonics around here. Because look at all these chumps. So that's good. And plus we're going to be fighting the Order of Death Vigil quite a bit. Which will of course help our commands buffs. So that's all good. What's our, what's our chaos resistance? 25%. That's not too shabby. It would ideally be better. But we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Woo! Something just triggered. I'm walking so fast. Or is that just how fast I walk? I can't even remember. <laughs> After playing this character, other ones feel really slow because I think I've got decent movement speed with this guy. It's pretty funny. Cool. Alright. So yeah, it's not too far. We should be able to get a, a decent way there today. No, I lie. We'll definitely get to Sorrow's Bastion. That is not of, even of any doubt. Oh, hello. Julius Crowley the Mindbender. I probably got myself in a bit of strife here. I went a bit too overzealous. Use a little shadow strike to get out of the immediate vicinity of that... What's it called again? Sigil of Consumption. Can't see what's happening because of this tree. Jeepers. That does good damage. I'll grant him that much. Oh, he's dead. We handled him. It's fan. Cool. Alrighty. Onwards. Nice. Pew. Bam. And we got the Blood Grove, and then we've got all those um, Chthonian ri Chthonic Rifts that chill just in... Or well, there's one that in the Blood Grove itself, and then there's another one later in the Plains of Strife. We should be able to get revered with them pretty easily, I would say. Plus, just doing all the quests for them now. It's a, it's a heavy focus on that quest line from here on out, so... We should be... Oh, good. It's not that far. 8,000 is not that much. I've already got 22,000 of the... Um, what's it called? Reputation with them, so... We should be alright. I'm just really keen to get it, um, empowered, or whatever they, I can't remember if they call it empowered when you're out for the honored, uh, tier of weapons you get from them, but the higher chosen, the empowered chosen blade, we'll call it, whatever it is, it's the super duper lightning damage dealer thing, from Kimons, I'm really keen to get one, but they won't sell it to me yet, I have to be revered, bloody nonsense, <laughs> well, let's see, we've killed just a small amount, it feels like a small amount, and now we're 22,921. So we've gained like 100 or so. That's pretty quick. The outcast flies, man. 
like 27 out of 30,000 because they like when we kill ethereals or chthonians so it's pretty much most of the stuff that you kill they're happy with it <laughs> which is cool I am I'm not complaining don't get me wrong it's just funny how you meet them so late in the game spoil I'm not, I'm not really spoiling anything so I won't say spoiler alert but um, yeah you that's like the last faction you meet in the storyline and um, <coughs> they um, are so easy to get experience for. My faction experience, I should say. I picked up something I wanted to look at. Now I forget. Ah, bugger it. Let's go. I'll find it later. <laughs> I won't hold you. I won't hold you. I won't hold you guys up. Man, I speak too fast. Get myself in all sorts of mess. I can't remember if the... <coughs> hey, I'm coughing again. Great job. I can't remember if the outcast has any uh, items really relevant to this character, but... We'll find out, I suppose. Are you gonna die of your own volition? Come on. Kill him with the dots and stuff. There we go. Didn't have to be within range of him. <laughs> yeah, so there's the rift gate. We're pretty close by, so, but we'll clear out this area first, of course, naturally. Dim to dim to dim to dim. Coolie beans. Mwah. Oh, Chthonic Seals, because someone wants Chthonic Seals as part of a quest, don't they? I should already have some. Enough. I've got 40 of them. That's plenty for the the initial quest for Kimons, which is very good, very nice. Arrgh. Awesome. Get shredded. That was pretty good. See, there's, there's times where this character just full excels and just shreds everything. <laughs> but, I mean, there's some tense moments as well, so still working through it. We'll get there. I reckon we could... If we try hard enough, beat Elite Mode. I might have to completely rejig the build to beat Log Horan at the end, but... You know, I might have to sacrifice a bunch of DPS to get max Chaos Resistance, for example, or whatever have you. Or change my devotion around specifically for that fight, but... We'll see what happens. Take it as it comes, right? Awesome, so there's the Rift for that. We'll double back and we'll color in this bit of the map that we missed. Because that's what this game is, effectively. is a map coloring in game. <laughs> Removing the fog of war. That's all you play for, man. Get with the Tams. Yeah. Boom. Ah, oh, yes, sir, -y, Bob. Level 72 or what? <laughs> uh, so, another two skill points, which I should probably. I feel like I should sp uh, spend defensively. Bam. Whoops. And I think we'll go straight for Zeke by now, really. Seems like the thing to do. Probably should have thought that out a little bit more, but whatever. It's fine. Alright. Now's has the chance to go like this. If I put two points in here, minus 8% total speed. I'm not fussed with the minus 30 offensive ability. That's not going to do much. 30 offensive ability at this point in the game is not a lot. But just to help with that, that total speed might really help. These resistance buffs, uh, resistance debuffs aren't going to help us much. I mean, alternatively, I could smash Stormcaller's Pact. If I put two points in there, 20% crit damage, 45% electrocute damage. Oh, the physics, that doesn't go up though. Up to 258 electrocute damage over three seconds. With 45% electrocute damage. What are we currently doing in that realm? Electrocute damage. 13 to 51 at 282% modification. Holy crap. Is that just weapon damage? With, um... Savagery? Electrocute. 58 to 180. That's kind of tempting, man. Just go all out on the offensive side. That'd be pretty funny. Because the defense, like, I know we're defensively struggling a bit, but that's not going to help that much, I don't think. Yeah, we should probably try it. I can buy the points back. Let's put two points in there. I'm not doing much. How much piece resistance am, sorry, pierce damage am I doing? Oh, it's up the top, isn't it? 50, 55 to 91. It's not much. And Savagery doesn't have much in there either. In comparison to the physical and lightning, it's nothing. 
So let's give it a swing. We'll just see. We'll see if it makes a, a tangible difference. All right, here we go. So they're, they're all going to be rolling at minus 8% total speed. Did I switch it on properly? Aren't they supposed to be getting little swords on their head? There they go. Yeah, it's working great. <laughs> Holy moly. It's probably working more than I'm realizing, of course, but it's, it's kind of a hard thing to measure. And this is a particularly bad moment, because there is a lot of dudes here, man. Oh, there's a summoner in there. Get the summoner first, silly. Whoa, 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 potion. Something, please. Holy crap, man. <laughs> it's never ending. All right. I just, I don't know if it's the just wasted points is, is what I'm concerned about. Like, I can get more defensive stuff from Devotion, for example, and I'm doing a lot of defensive work from Devotion. So, it may be just wasted. If we can just kill stuff faster, we might be in a better shape. So, I don't know. I really, I'm, I'm a bit stuck on that. Any advice? If anyone has any thoughts about whether this is worth it, do let me know in the comments below. That would be really awesome. Give me your adversaries. Awesome. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. You wanted to speak with me? What must I do? Are these the seals? Bam. How much do you get? 250 Kimon's reputation. What does Kimon require? What must be done? I will slay Bolva the Bloodbinder. So this is what I'm working towards. Our elite Chosen Blade. Sorry. <laughs> It's nice. It's pretty nice. But man, this charged Imperial Mallet of Alacrity just with its flat physical damage is just destroying for us at the moment. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Awesome. Imperian's Touch. Do I... Am I using these? Why am I not using these? What can I put this on? Rings and medals and stuff. Um, Applied to rings and amulets. I've got... 10% lightning damage on that. I've got... Wow, I should really be using this. Uh-huh, they don't have any defensive sort of stuffs, do they? 22% fire resistance on that one. Huh. Apply to all armor. Epic augment. Oh my gosh. Tad, have I not seen this before? Give me all of these. How many? One, two, three. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Oh, no, you've got to be... Oh, oops. Learn to read, Kluger. <laughs> I need to be fully buffed out with them. God damn it. It's going to be so good when I can do that, though. What are these? <coughs> Excuse me. Offensive ability, blah, 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 blah. Not very good, really. Oh, it's a badge. Eh. Have you got one that's just goes go no you don't. Chosen Storm Seal. 31% lightning damage. Da -da 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 -da. Is that gonna help or hinder my DPS? It's about oh, savagery goes a little up. Interesting. Have it back for now. That's eleven percent to all damage, but six percent defensive ability. Do you have that? No you don't, of course you don't. Stupid ring. What does my DA go down to? Holy moly, that's a lot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Carrying right along. <coughs> I'm going to shop off camera later, everybody. He says as he opens another freaking inventory. Now, nah, I'm going to leave you guys here. Because this is a good time to end the episode. So, as always, guys. Thank you. As I said always twice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it today. As I mentioned, leave your thoughts and comments below. R.E. The use of Veil of Shadow. Uh, leave your likes and other comments below. I hope to see you again next time. My name is Kluger. You have a great day.